here we have lung nine okay it's called great abyss and i've got my favorite book here images and functions and it says lung nine great abyss the name refers to the chi which dives deeply into the interior like a waterfall this image perhaps also refers to the area just distant from the point where the pulse disappears as the course of the artery runs internally so what it is is it's like it's called great abyss and the idea is the chi starts here and as it goes to it's like a, a spring here and it's kind of like a well and then it kind of de delves deeply into the channel and goes up into the lungs that's the image they give of it so let's just have another look at lung nine Okay, it tonifies the lung key and the yin again. So that's the cooling aspect of the lungs. And again, it's very useful on the emotional level um, because what it can do is it can really support us if we get kind of agitated in the autumn. Uh, it's used for cough and asthma and sore throat, things like that, obviously. Um, but also on the emotional level, it's used for grief, sadness, letting go, and all those kind of autumnal things. And you can see pretty much where it is on that picture, great big black blob I can show you where it is you find the wrist crease like this and it's just here it's just right here on the wrist crease it's not on the edge there you come inside and it's just there okay so I thought we might like you might like to feel the action of the point I, the way I like to do it is hold it like this so you're kind of holding your hand and you've got the thumb right on it like that yeah like that yeah okay so let's just do a little energy exercise I'm going to close my eyes um, and you can too if you like and we're going to relax the whole arms open up the armpits with the egg to make sure we've got chi running down our arms okay and then if you'd like to visualize the channel it runs down into the thumb it should be pretty much tingling now from all the exercises we've done and then what we're going to do is we're just going to place our thumb there with the other hand okay and we are going to gently press in and what i'd like you to do is this i'd like you to first of all with your imagination or your intention just think up towards the thumb tip so we're thinking this way down the channel towards lung 11 which we'll do next week <laughs> and get a sense of what the chi feels like there and i think you'll find that it feels quite strong but kind of a little bit thin and that's because that's from where the well and the spring of the point comes Okay, and now if you tune into lung nine itself, I'm tuning right into it myself now, it feels like a kind of deep pool and that's the deep abyss feeling. And if you then, um, if we then focus our energy or our intention towards the elbow and then towards the shoulder, it has a kind of great, much wider sensation or connection down through into the elbow, you may, might even feel it connecting with lung five and then all the way up. And if you're lucky, you might even feel it connect up right into lung one there. Okay, and then if you can get the connection right through into the chest and you can get a feeling of positivity and a feeling of your breath and maybe your throat relaxing, then you're feeling the action of lung nine. Okay, great abyss, you better do the other side. So we're going to put the thumb there on the point. Everyone happy? Know where it is? It's just on the wrist crease. You just keep going along to the end there and it's kind of like an indentation. You can feel the pulse right there. Okay. And we're going to just relax. I'm going to relax, hold the point, open up the armpits. You might want to rest your hands on your lap just to get any tension out of your arm if you need to do that. Okay. I've got my thumb there, here, right on it. Okay, so tuning in towards the tip of the thumb, open up the channel towards the thumb. Okay, and then relaxing and visualizing towards the elbow and feeling like a kind of space underneath the thumb. That's the kind of abyss that takes us into the river that goes down into the elbow and to, into lung one. Got it, and then into lung one. And then into the throat. 
Okay, excellent. Now, just to make the most of that, what we're going to do is we're going to just stand up. Okay, you can still probably feel lung uh, nine because just because we pressed it, you'll feel it kind of activated. Now, just check this out. We're going to open up kidney one, connect with the earth, relax, bring the breathing down into the lower dentien. Okay. And now just bring your attention to that feeling of lung nine on both sides. You probably feel, it still feels like there's almost a little bit of pressure there left over from when we press with the thumbs. Okay, and just let that feeling spread out through the thumbs, into the thumbs and then up into the elbows and into the chest. and then up into the throat. Okay, now keeping that active, keeping that visualization active, just allow your shoulders to move about and find a comfortable place from back to front.